Hey, we're back. I know you guys miss me, but I'm back. <laughs> hey, y'all, it's Amanda and Blake. Welcome back to the channel. The Hubs is here to pick my 24 books to read in 2024. out the books. books so the hubs has got down here the tbr cart okay and he is going to pick a little bit from the shelves but for the most part it's the tbr cart because he doesn't know what i've read and i haven't read so mm -hmm. we all know these are safe bets yeah okay. i told her i'd stick mainly to the cart but some over there on the shelf i might you know yeah all right y'all so we have moved things around a little bit so you can see us a little bit better so the hubs is going to pick from the tbr cart carts right here you can't Cart really see it carts right here you can't yeah. see it but we already know the top three books here we're gonna go ahead and get those out the way because he bought these for me for christmas and you know what he's saying all right why you need books you already got so many books but <laughs> so as everybody knows this book went on a big journey to get to us <laughs> powerless by so, lord roberts we'll say this will be the first book this has got to be the first one you read out of yeah. Oh, Sheena, girl, we looking at you over here. So, so, we already know this is like one of Sheena's favorite books, okay, already of the year. And the cover is gorgeous. This is a YA fantasy romance, all that stuff. It's clean. I'm ready for it. So, and for me, I love the sword. So, I mean, I can already, I like this cover too. I mean, yeah. it's just, you know, epic anyway. cover. So, so, you will get all of the thoughts on this, okay? I really need to vlog it, okay? If you want me to be able to vlog it as well, let me know. But, I plan on reading this in February anyway. So, this will be the first one on the list to read this year. All right. Next. So, the second book we'll do Dream of Kings. This is a gift from the Hubs at Christmas time. Who's the author? Sharon Hink. 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 I've heard good things about this book. This is a Christian fantasy. I think it might be, I don't know if it's YA or not. Anyway, it's Christian fantasy. Love this cover. It's given Aladdin, is it not? Yeah. I mean, look does. at this. I like the colors. Look at the colors. Blue and the green. I don't know anything about it, to be Very honest nice with you. Uh, the books, I'm just going to link them all below so you can check out the synopsis and everything for the sake of this video. We're just going to quickly go through with the books I want to read, but I'm definitely going to link them down below if you want to check out the synopsis and everything. But yeah, this is The Future Never Sleeps, Glacial Nation of Norgard, Jolin the Dream Teller. It's giving a Latin. <laughs> No, I need to know. I need to know all this about this. So I'm not gonna read all the synopsis or anything, but the hubs has picked Dream of Kings, and I know several of my friends have read this and enjoyed it. So Sharon Hink, she on my list. So the third book is very nice. The Calling. You like that cover too, don't you? Yeah, so you guys can see it. There we go. Yeah. So Elsie Pie? Yeah, this is a clean it's supposed to be, I don't know anything about it yet, but this is supposed to be a clean fantasy story and it says perfect for fans of the selection divergent in the remnant chronicles mm -hmm. so it's a coming of age story filled with secrets adventure and clean oh clean slow burn romance we let us say it so this will be on the list for this year i don't know anything about this author never read anything but sounds like it's gonna be a good time all right so now I'm now we're picking out from the actual shelves okay actual now order. hubs really curate this list okay um there's some in the back well, here. Well, we'll start with this book out here. So, uh, Once Upon a Wardrobe. All right. By Patty Callahan. I've heard nothing but good so things. Another really nice This is cover. one of the covers I took pictures of that day it snowed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was up so. there taking pictures like, what? Um, so, yeah. Everyone says this is great. It's like Narnia inspired. Mm. You know, like The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Yeah. So, that's all we really need that's to know. book number four. Yeah. Huh? Book number four. In what? Out of 24. Oh, I thought you meant the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Because <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Sorry. <You get> my <laughs> brain. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You're right. This is number four. We need to count right. Because last time we did book not. Book number four. I've <laughs> number four. The fourth book I've chosen. Not in the series. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. That's my bad. All right. So, yeah. Patty Callahan. Once Upon a Wardrobe. She on the list. Um, all right. So, now i got to look at. Uh... All right. We'll do The Huntress. Of Thornbeck Forest by Melanie Dickerson. That's a nice little definitely uh, one I want to read this year. Uh, I want to read more Melanie Dickerson. I told y'all already about how I want to read her more this year in another video. And this is a medieval fairy tale, and it says a, a beautiful maiden who poaches to feed the poor, a handsome mm. forester on so, a mission to catch her, danger and love are about to unite in Thornbeck Forest. We let us see it. This is um. Robin, Robin Hood, son. Yeah, I was gonna say it's Robin. Hey, yeah, look. Yeah. Love this. I want to read the sooner than later 
So at least the first half of the year. Gorgeous. This is actually a series. I have all of Jolly's books. I have her over here. Melanie Dickerson right here. She writes lots of fairy tale retellings. All right. All right so that's book number five. Let's see. Um, and there's more in the back too, I think, somewhere. Um, but feel free. Um, Some of these are repeats from last year, so try not to be that. What are these right here? Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, I see. Hold on. What are all these books right here? I don't know. We're just going to go through. So, so. These are they, ha they have all these men on the cover, so I don't know <laughs> what this is. It's like a, this has got to be a series, right? I mean, <laughs> oh, this oh, this guy looks like the Superman guy, does he not? Yeah, he, he reminds me of Superman. Henry Cavill? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Just with the, maybe the beard. And the, just, I mean, a little bit. I'm not saying like you know. But um, at first glance, he reminds Henry me Cavill of like Cavill from Wish. He, he just reminds me. Yeah, I'm he, just kidding. Just reminds me. Anyways. A little bit. Okay. Um, uh, so I guess I could pick a book. I just thought I thought it was funny. It's a series, and I've not read it, so we'll pick uh, book one in the series. If you okay, want. This, so this uh, is a clean Christian romance, my friend. I so told, story one. time. This is I only had book one, okay. And my friend Christina reached out to me on Pango Books and was like, "Hey, girl, would you like to have this whole series as a gift?" And I was like, "Thank you so much." So thank you, girl, for that. I really appreciate you. And uh, I just. Susan May Warren is the author, I should have said. I just really want to read more of Susan May Warren's romance anyway. And these sound like they're, they might be some cheese, I don't know. But I think they are. Is that like all in the series? Contemporary romance, yeah. So you got the numbers? Or is it this three? is now oh, on the book side. One. Right here. There's book six. Yeah, okay. this is book one. So if you pick one, you just need to pick the first one because you know your girl in series. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's Wild Montana Skies. This is book one yeah. in the Montana Rescue series. It says there's a search and rescue helicopter pilot named Casey, and she needs. Let's see. She returns home to, to Montana, runs into her mistakes, devastating crash during her military tour in Afghanistan, emotionally broken, putting her life back together. Country music star Ben King. Hey, we'd love to see it. So that's kind of what's going on. I don't want to read no synopsis stuff. Huh? So, so. <laughs> Look at we got to get like a tome out here. Look oh how big this gosh. book is. So we got to get some tomes open. Sorry, so, I was trying to tell y'all the synopsis. It'll be like below. Wolf Children? Well, this looks kind of like a nice little it's anime. It's like Studio Ghibli. Kind yeah, of Ghibli. I love Studio, Studio Ghibli. It, it's not, but it reminds oh, me wow, of that. Oh, wow, that's, you know, if you like the artwork. But, so, so there's a this manga. About? This is a manga. Yeah. Oh, it tells you right here. Okay. One of my friends read this and really oh, enjoyed it. Oh, wow. So, okay, it won't be that big of a read. It's kind of yeah. more of a comic. Manga. Okay. Manga. Comic, Bruh. you know. <laughs> Roast. So, um, <laughs> we roasted each other. Um, yeah, I mean, this is not that bad. It's more like... Okay, we can add that to the list. I have yeah. been wanting to read it. It does take up a lot of space, so if I don't like it, I get rid of it, but so, it'd be a lot of... It's two books I, It just caught my eye. I was like, okay, well... Um, Wolf Children. I don't know how you said the, the name of the creator, so anyway, I will leave it down below. But it's, it is gorgeous, I will say. I don't know anything about it, so... <laughs> and a manga on my shelf. Very few mangas are on my shelves, but it's on the list. What, number seven, I guess? I'm glad you keep the name. <laughs> I tried to read the synopsis of some of these. My bad, but um, again, that'd be linked below. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I just saw Twilight, so we'll go with that. Not Twilight, by the way, but when Twilight breaks. All right. So, Sarah Sunday. Another woman walking away. So. <laughs> what do you got? Do you think it is? Uh, well, historical romance. Uh, I think it's just historical. It's historical. Yeah, historical. Girl, I, mean, well, I, think it's, it's like the woman, I was about to say, I don't know. The woman is walking away, and you got the plane. It's all it's history. So yeah, yeah. historical okay. romance. All right. So when Twilight breaks, <clears throat> this was actually one of the first books I bought by her after uh, we call it when, until it's on Paris. So that's another. I'm planning on reading her new release. Okay, so this soon, is but in, in February. Munich. But this is um another one I want to read anyway. So. Been meaning to read this for two years now, so, so that's... yeah. This is um, uh, Munich, Munich, Munich. How do you say that? Munich, Munich, yeah. 1938, Nazi Germany. Evelyn Brand, American American foreign correspondent, is pr she's ready to prove her worth in a male-dominated profession, honey. Mm. And then Peter Lang is an American graduate student working on his PhD in Ger in German. As the world marches relentlessly towards war, Evelyn and Peter are on a collision course with destiny. That's all we need now. Um, <laughs> Making an effort, y'all. Sorry. Let's we'll see what books are back here. I don't know. Uh, I've not read any of these. These are middle grade, if you want to pick one of those from that. The Song for a Whale. Okay. All right. That was on my list last year, and I didn't get to it. 
Based on this, I don't know if this is a, a fiction. It's a middle grade. Middle grade, yeah, that's what I can do, okay. Yeah. Um, it's like just a fiction. Lynn Kelly, Song for a Whale. This is actually dealing with a girl who's deaf. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I like this cover. Isn't that beautiful? So, yeah, middle grade March is coming up in March, so perfect time for this. Mm -hmm. I'll definitely be adding this in my March TBR, so FYI. But um, it says, Iris is a 12-year-old girl born deaf. Her hearing classmates are at school aren't good at sign language like she is, so it's not easy to make friends. Blue 55 is a whale who sings a song that no other whales can hear. Scientists have dubbed him the loneliest whale in the world. She learns about him in a science class, and she knows exactly how he must feel and comes up with an idea she can sing back to him. Will the loneliest whale in the ocean be, finally be heard, and can Iris show how a little de determination can make big waves? Mm. Mm. Okay. This sounds so cute. So, that right. sounds precious. What is that, book eight? You have to count. Uh, like one, two, three. <laughs> you got a long way to go. Seven, eight, nine. That's nine. Oh my goodness. We all book nine. Days. Okay. So now we need ten. Um, ten. Yeah. That'd be nineteen. Wait. You need twenty-four, right? <laughs> she can't do math. Wait, no. You I need said, ten. You need nine. No, 19. I said we are on nine. Yeah. What? You three, said we need ten. Four. Six, oh, you seven, said we're eight, on ten. Nine, so I thought you said nine. we need we ten. We need number ten. <laughs> okay, I misunderstood. My bad. <laughs> This video. <laughs> um. Okay, this. Oh wow. Okay, this kind of reminds me of Brianna from Outlander, but okay, Unyielding Hope. All right. So. Next author. Jeanette, Jeanette Oak. Oak. Laurel Oak Logan. When hope oh, calls. Oh, it's two. It's two. Authors? I hope I can read this. Interesting. Yeah. When hope calls, book one. I hope I can read this. Why you can't? Oh, is it book two? Is it a different in a series? It's book one in a series. So Let me says, know if I can't read this. If not, I'll pick another. If I can, I'll pick another one. But okay. I think it's fine. So I was gonna say, is, I guess those are the all. Okay. Yeah, mother and daughter. Okay. Looks like um, mm. Jeanette Oak's been around for a long time. So, all right. If this is uh, one that y'all say, "Hey, Amanda, don't read that. Read something else first, Let me know. <laughs> I'll try to do that. So, or maybe I'll just go to it anyway and be fine. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's on my list. The Hidden Prince. All right. Tessa Afshar. I want to read more Tessa Afshar, so this is good. Okay, <laughs> this is going to so make me read it. I picked a good one there. Yeah. This so is what a, is this about? Hmm. It is a biblical fiction. Oh, Daniel. okay. And that's her right there. Okay. Yeah. This says uh, Karen is a gifted young Jewish scribe in the house of Daniel, and she learns languages and swordsmanship alongside the great man's sons and their friend Jared. A tragic accident changes the course of her life, and she finds herself far from home, charged with the task, teach a shepherd boy to be a lord. She soon hears of hints of his true, true parentage and realizes she must protect him from a bloodthirsty king. That's all we need to know. So, yeah, I plan to read this for sure. Like, I really want to read more Tessa Asher anyway. Everybody's talking about her. Like, my friends are reading a lot of her books, and I've only read one of her books, and I feel like I'm missing out. So, biblical fiction, mm -hmm. we love to see it. Can't right. have FOMO. Can't have I can't have that FOMO, honey. I need not. <laughs> 12. We're on number 12. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think here. Uh, what's this one? Okay, yeah, this uh -oh. looks good. He's getting me now. <laughs> Sabotage? <laughs> Not a good one? Yeah, no, look. Okay, so, so, what Danny you don't know is in Petri? one of my videos, Danny Petri, okay. one of my videos, I said I wanted to read rest some of the series. I'd love to finish the series this year. Look at you picking this out. This is book two. Book I'm, two. I'm planning okay. on actually rereading book one in February. That's the spoiler for my TBR. Um, because I've read book one. Actually, this is book five. Oops. <laughs> Man, it is, she can't do what that. Book two? She can't count. <laughs> we, we've established. Oh! We've established she can't count. Okay. I don't know what happened on that. This is book two. <laughs> we'll what? pretend that's what, what you picked out. Okay. And oh, we're okay. leaving that in there for, for reason. But All right. So the rules are I can't go out of order. So, okay. She's going to read this one. I had the wrong one on okay. the TBR card. I meant to book right. two. That's her fault. Book two is actually shattered. Look at shattered. me. Y'all was like, Where's Amanda. It Where's it tell you? Number two? Yeah, right here. I love okay. when they put that on the side. So sometimes they don't do oh. that. Anyway. Okay. So, sorry, brain. Um, <laughs> Book two. <laughs> Okay, we'll say he picked book two. That's what should have been there in that place anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to reread book one, which is Submerge, and now we got book two. Alaska. Yeah, I remember you reading Submerge. I was like, that lot, that's why it looked familiar. I was How like, do you remember this? I just remember something about it. Anyway, I'm ready. So, uh, it's in Alaska, and I'm not going to read it back because I can't remember. Anyway, <laughs> so anyway, right. yeah. I'll leave the link for book one on that down below instead of book two. If I were you, Lynn Austin. That was on the list.
Was it really? No way. Are you serious? Yes. All right. So this year, she definitely has to read it. Bruh, definitely I'm has sure to it read was. it. I'm yeah, no, it was. I recognized the shoes. I recognized them sitting there. I should took so, this off. No, I really want to read it. It's so, just like, okay, you definitely have to read it. It's just like I don't know. Me and historical. I love historical, but like I gotta be in the mood. <sighs> Bruh. She keeps putting it off. <laughs> okay, okay. 1950, 1940. This is about two friends. That's all yeah. I'll say. I have read the Chris, the Christmas book that's tied to this. It was good. I don't remember a whole so lot about it. you didn't like the books so, I picked last year. I get it. I did, but... Yeah. Okay, anyway. You're like, I got too many other stuff to... Too much other stuff to read. Okay. Hey, I read like a bunch, but somehow this didn't happen. Okay, we'll just say we're at it. It's a Christian historical So that's the only one you left on there from last year? Yeah, right uh, no, there's still some on here. Mm. You can pick that. I need to finish the series. <laughs> no, because now that you said that, we'll go back. We, ah. we giving you hands. Hold on, so... It's not... Go look at the dog's book so what else over here can I pick? You said that you have may or may not have read. Here, you got all of those books. Well, they're kind of like hidden. Well, here, let me move these out of the way. We start with the, the thumbnail. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, I really don't know about you looking at that shelf because there's something on that shelf that I feel like is going to be added back to the list. What is it? What? What? <laughs> Thousand Heartbeats? That one? Like what? <laughs> what is it? I feel like you're going to put a Thousand Heartbeats back on my list. No, I won't. I won't pick it. Don't no. pick it this time because I don't so, know if I get to it. Mistress. Have you read that? I have. Oh. I've read all of these. And this is on my TBR for February. I read all these. Yes. Put okay. That on <laughs> Here we go. We found one. This is called. A Cure so dark. Yes. Like, oh my gosh. All right, cut that out. We're not even. We're not even. No. All right, I found one. A curse. A curse so dark and lonely. Yep. Bridget. Camerier? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So that's definitely one I want to So this read. is book 12, I think, after all I hope. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely one that's on my list. I already told y'all about it in my series. I want to read this year. I'm going to start. This is one I want to start. It's a YA fantasy story. Beauty and the Beast. Mm. Retelling, I guess. Pick one right. of these. Lights <laughs> Out by Natalie Walters. Hey! <laughs> is this a good one? Yeah, because I said I want to read that in my series. Okay, the, the Snap 8. Ooh. Go. FBI. Well, I was going to say, like, Jason Bourne or, like, yeah, yeah. FBI. Okay. Agency. Kinda, yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is book one in her Snap Agency series, and it's a CIA analyst. Um, I don't even know what I want to say. It's just a romantic suspense. <laughs> okay. Okay, and, um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Kidnapping, explosions, poisonings, terrorists and stuff. Like, the fate of the world hangs in their hands. Oh, let's go. I need to know. So, here we go. The Well. Okay. By Stephanie Lansom. That's one we couldn't get that sticker off. Oh. But yeah, it I got used it for like to be seven dollars. I got it for a dollar. Got it for a dollar. It used to be seven bucks. <laughs> this go. is okay. a biblical fiction about the woman at the well, and I need to know. I read this book. This is one you picked last year. So now you got another Stephanie Lansom on the list. Look at you. Our land was last year, and I loved it. So hopefully, I like this one too. But yeah, this um, I've heard this is good. So. Yeah, biblical fiction about the woman at the well. Okay, so we got... How many more we need? One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. A Seaside Wonder, Melissa Tag. Hey! So, this must be a good Definitely one. Definitely one I already want to read. <laughs> That's why you curate your list. So, For somebody to this out, you try to get this where you want it. <laughs> so, it says, Breathtaking romance, a captivating mystery, and an enchanting winter seaside. Return to Moor Harbor. Moor, I think. And best-selling best author, Melissa Tag. Okay. Christian I mean, romance. So, basically, a mystery. A little bit Christian of mystery. Mis Christian, Christian romance. Mis yeah. Um, yeah, this is one I already told y'all I wanted to kind of get back into and actually finish the whole series. The book three is on the list as well. So, yeah. I love the book one. So, that's definitely on the list. All right. We, we getting there. It's got a cat on it. Okay. <laughs> A sprinkling of murder. Hey. And it's got a little Siamese cat on there. Sorry, the cat. Blake's like immediately is. Like, I, I pick it based on the cover. So yeah. I'm like, no idea what it's about. I'll pick it because of the cover. This is a cozy mystery, actually. <laughs> um, And so it just says Fairy Garden Store. Store. Did I say that right? Yeah. Fairy Garden Store owner, Courtney. A believe. store owner? 
in a store. I don't know how I'm saying that weird. <laughs> Where does it say that? <laughs> store. Yeah, oh. Fairy Garden store owner. Courtney and then her name. Yeah, it's okay. a store. She's a store owner. Cor <laughs> Courtney, Courtney, yeah. Courtney believes in inviting magic into your life, but when uninvited trouble enters her shop, she'll need more than a sprinkling of her imagination to solve a murder. So, let's hope the magic is not too much for me in this, but it, it looks like a good time with the cover, so who knows? It's a nice cover. We'll see. We'll see. Daryl Wood Gerber is the um, author. It says he's an Agatha Award winning author, so first in a series. Oh, it's a guy? Daryl? Yes. Oh, wow. Look at you okay. picking out a male author. Hey. I, just heard, I just heard you don't say the name. Lot, don't I have a like, lot of male authors on the list here. No, I don't see so, You don't see that very often. Series or no? That is not a series, but it's Land one I need to read. Chrissy was just talking about it. All right, Chrissy. And how much she loved it. Here I think Lindsay's read it as well. Beautiful cover, okay. The Tears. The Tears? This is about the woman who bled for 12 years. Oh, well. In the Bible. Biblical fiction. Okay. About the woman with the issue of blood. So, um, yeah, I, I need to know. Uh, I already had this up higher on my TBR anyway because Chrissy was reading it today. She just finished this today. Wow. It was saying how great it was, and she was in tears. So, beautiful. Another test, so we got it. Okay. All right. I'll be reading So, it. let's branch out over here. I'm kind of done with the card. Okay. What else oh, we got? One, two, three, four. I think that's, what, four, 17, 18? Like 16? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 19. 24, so 24, 24, 24, 24. Five more. Five more books. Okay, pretty so, easy. Uh, if you want, I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, we'll get this one for the next one. Very nice cover. So, Divine Rivals. Look Rebe at him putting all these YA books on here. <laughs> Rebecca Ross. So very. I love the blue and the gold. That's I know he picked this if he was on the card. Yeah, so. that that's a very nice cover. So. Um. This is a YA. Horrible cover. It's banana peel. It's it. Yeah. They can't see you know. <laughs> Get the frames. <laughs> I was gonna say banana peel. I'm too too tall for this. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> this is definitely very popular on BookTube, Bookstagram, Book Talk, whatever you call it. Um. I I will I, I will do it. <laughs> you will do it. I will do it for the gram, for the tube, for the book tube. Okay. Because I I need to know. There's so much praise for this, but also like mixed feelings from some other friends. So I need to know. I need to know. It is kind of like this historical war gods creatures all this stuff going on so gods creatures what is this yeah thing? i don't know it's like a magical war uh, okay romance they say i don't know <laughs> i'm gonna do it she's like she lost it with the gods and the creatures i was like i don't know bro let's we'll say we're gonna read it i'll let y'all know my honest <laughs> thoughts though about the content uh, all that stuff you already know oh by the way sorry i'm being a squirrel but hey chrissy i don't know if you saw that on my bad so, um, this was just literally on the her show. The she when, gave me. When did, oh, is that what she gave you? Oh, my bad. She I did, gave me that. I remember this. Well, shoot. Where have I been? Oh, uh, I don't know where I was. Oh, no. She's going to break it. She broke it, Chrissy. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Look here. Quick. That's on my stuff. Okay. Go. Okay. She's going to break it, though. Okay. All right, my bad. So, I have actually some of these you could probably pick because I've not. These are all mystery if you want to, like, I'm taking the ones uh, Hold on. So, I've read these. No, not read this one. I've read that one. Um, I've not read any of any of these right here. Mm. These four. Mm. Or this one. I've not read that one. So whichever one you can pick a gem and go right. That's what we're looking at. Um, I mean, or this I'll one. Do the red one. Sure. I can't get it, but <clears throat> I need to read more harvest. So the premonition at Withers Farm. All right. That's on the list. Book when number 21, right? I think. I think. 22. I bought this at Books of Man mm -hmm. whenever Amy was up here. <clears throat> so you gotta read it. I gotta read it. So, so is that a, a suspense? Yeah, it, it looks nice. like a horror. Like, look at that background. The red. Got yeah, like a horror suspense. It's not gonna be that scary, I hope. I mean, look at this back, guys. The the, the red and the window. Like, somebody's gonna die. Like, <laughs> like man, look at that right there. Like... Well, somebody probably does die, but like... I mean, like, that looks pretty bad on the back cover there. The way that look, I'm like... Look, look, look. I'm just saying. Let me know if it's... That looks like a bar like somebody's murdered or something. Wait. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. I don't know the content yet. We'll see. If it gets a bit too much, I'll put it down. That, okay. I definitely don't know content, so... How about a classin? You read some classin? I see classin. I've uh, not read this one. Okay. That's, pretty That's the only one? Only one out of this. All right, grab that one. We'll do that one. 
All right, we'll get you some, is that Julie Klassen, if I remember? Yeah. How do I remember the names? Hey. That's crazy. Oh, wow, this is a nice cover. Yeah, I love oh, yeah, the covers. Oh, yeah, I didn't have Julie on the back right, so, so you know. Shadows of Swanford Abbey? Hey. There you go. This is a good list, y'all. It's so, better than last year. Picking out good I'm books. I'm fired up. Picking out good books. This is a Christian historical fiction. Hopefully, it's, oh, yeah. So, mm. all you need to know is this is Agatha Christie meets Jane Austen in an atmosphere of Christmas tale. Brimming with mystery, intrigue, and romance. Oh, let's go. How many we got? Yeah, okay, so two more. Two more! Two. So, like I said, I've already read all of these. And um, if you want, some of these at the bottom, I don't know. Hmm. What about any of those down there? Here? Well, even down there, too. Here? All right. We found one. Oh, this is a nice cover. I like this. So, this is like a Hunger Games type book. It kind of, I think that's what people have so, said. So, the Inheritance Games. Oh, okay. They can't see me. They're, I'm too tall for this. Sorry, guys. <laughs> So. The Inheritance Games, Julie Lynn Barnes. A lot of y'all have said this is good. Some have mixed feelings. Some say it's middle of the road. But it's a YA so oh, dystopian, okay. I think. Secret passages with r elaborate riddles, billions at stake. So, I don't know if it's like Hunger Games or not. I'm just... Well, it has games on there, so... Got, yeah. It's entertaining. I don't know. Yeah. I got no idea, but we're here. So, I'm adding this to the list. So well, we, need, uh, num we need one more one book. More. What's the final book of 2024? Uh, right, I can't. I can't do that one. Uh, Can I pick any of those? Chrissy, no? I've been holding out on her. Let's do that one. That looks fun. Let's do one of those. It's kind of big. This is book two. Okay, y'all. Why are you doing book two? The hubs. I'm gonna pick one. Ooh. But the hubs has picked this out. All right, this is a really nice. Let cover. me just say, I forgot to mention this. Author this catches in, my eye. <laughs> I forgot okay. to mention this in my series Marvel video. Storyteller. Sorry, Chrissy and Penny. <laughs> but Hob, now. Have I been saying I was going to read this and it never was happening and I never got back into it? Now the husband. This is a tome. Let me just say, now he's putting this on my this list. This is a tome. Kind of, yeah. Can I do it? <laughs> the Hob Effect. Hob Emotional Support Group is Chrissy. Chrissy would be my sponsor. I, I'll even say this. <laughs> this can be the last book you read if it's too hard for you. Out of 24 books, if this is the last in the year, hey. Oh. If you can get to it this year, okay. Taunting me. I need to read it. But, but here's like, the catch. I gave her a hard time beforehand, but the, the rule is she has to read all 24 of these. Last year, she right. fell short. She has to read at least these 24. You can read more books, but you have to at least find room for these 24 <laughs> books. Or what? <laughs> Just say it when you go down front. Uh, uh, Nothing. <laughs> Or there, there'll be no more uh, picking uh, 2025 book. Yeah. Uh oh. The, the, the series ends. Uh oh. Uh, so He's challenged. That means I'm out, boys. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm out, boys. He's out. He's out. I'm well, out. he's a good sport, y'all. Let's try to so, we're gonna try to stack these up. We're going to show show the stack. So, okay, now let's see. Which one of these would you read first? How you want to do an order? I don't know. Um, I if, don't you really were to, know. if you were to go read some of an order, I don't know. I think. <clears throat> Powerless is first. Oh, yeah, yeah. Powerless. We said that first. Sorry. You are at the frame. Sorry. Yeah, so we said Powerless will be first. So. Definitely in February it's first because uh, I need to know. Oshina has talked a lot about it and I need to know. Oshina is waiting. She's waiting for, the, for, the for the Amanda's videos, review. The update. She's wanting to know. The I need to read it before her so I can get my review, okay? Oh, yeah. Because I'm just saying. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'll be waiting. We'll all be waiting for You'll we'll be waiting for my review? We're okay. all waiting. This is a 30 minute video. You see? Uh oh. Amanda's mm -hmm. dropping books. Pick it up, son. All right, y'all. So I will figure out this thumbnail here in a minute, but that's it for the video. It's a bit lengthy. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Any last thoughts, Hubs? Huh? Any last, last thoughts? Um. Gotta read those books. I don't know. That's my thought. I don't know. We're gonna be sitting here next year in Vlogmas to be like, I'm gonna be like, how many of these 24 books? Which is bad because guess read? what? We already at the end of January. This is not good. I know. I mean, when are you gonna? Well, I guess. Uh oh. So, well, I would say for 12 months, two books a month, you would have met your goal. Well, we're already to February. So that means you gotta do three. I guess you gotta do three books in a month. So now you're already behind. I mean, I guess that's what that means, right? I do. <laughs> Hey, it's all right. So. It's fine. I yeah. know. I'm just glad the year is 2024, so it's 24. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Woo. All right, y'all. 24 is an even We're good. All right, y'all. It's late. That's it for this video. Thank y'all for watching, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.